More cutscene. Yay. And here we have Terra fighting back. Stop fighting back. No. Yeah. I don't want grey hair. Terra, I know you're in there. That's not even grey, it's, it's white. <laughs> Greyish white. This'll teach you. Get out of my heart. Terra! You gotta wonder what this I think maybe this is what created the heartless. Uh because huh. like what's back that thing it's a bat thing maybe I guess but like in this is weird though in Kingdom Hearts 2 they say like the heartless come from the darkness within people's hearts which is like there's always gonna be that so but like something but the thing is um what about oh actually didn't well Anthem actually I now I think about it Anthem actually had oh wait a minute I just thought of something what's that Anthem the Seeker of Darkness it had um the emblem on it, it it's an artificial Oh. It's man-made. Right. That's, an, huh. that's an interesting thought. Because, mm. you know, it, it's the, the shadow itself behind him is probably the, a real deal. Yeah. But this is a flat-out... But, but Ant, Ant, Secret of Darkness is a, fl is a fake. Huh. I mean, how else can anything in a Heartless have a, have a shape and, have a shape and voice and all that? Yeah, I suppose. I have to do something, or we'll both be lost. Is that because she's an Iron Man suit right now with this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Jarvis, call in War Machine. I'm with you. So we just let she just left this keyblade in her keyblade with her in him. Yeah. That's how he's getting out. And now Aqua has no defense. Uh, well, no, she still has to master defense. Oh yeah, you're right. But I promise I'll be there one day to wake you up. Have we mentioned this game's story is dark? <laughs> yeah. Like no one gets a happy ending in this one. Hmm. Aqua just, Aqua just gets the the and the benefit of knowing that and they're out there still. Yeah, like uh, Aqua's the only one out of the three that actually like is still around, I guess in a sense. Terra in a you know Terra what? in a way with lingering will, but not really. Yeah, like most of him is gone to be honest. Yeah. And Ven can't do anything in, at all. Huh? Yeah. Sora. What's wrong, huh? I mean, like, they kind of had to have a sad ending to connect the connect the story together uh, and put it, make it like a prequel to one. There was no other way, we, basically, we can get to where we were if it wasn't, if it didn't be this down. Yeah, they had to, they, they kind of had to make a sad ending. Yeah, but this is like episode five, so, in, in kind of like downer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody up there in all those worlds is really hurting. And... They're waiting for you to help them. Foreshadow you, by a young kid. Do you think there's something I can do? <laughs> hmm. Then again, we got a keyblade just from getting some flowers earlier. Hard and listen. Yeah. Mm, I don't know, Riku. You say some weird stuff sometimes, but I'll try it. Okay. Maybe I'll be a protagonist soon. Hmm. <laughs> I just know it. I do like the, uh, the kid uh, voices for Sora and Riku, like they do a good job not making it cringy. I think it's not like Tails. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Sonic. I wonder what happened to Sonic. Good thing you're okay. Everything will be okay. <laughs> Yosh. Holy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, 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 cause all the combos. Great, great, great! Yeah! We are killing this. <laughs> and, yeah, we are. Right this way. Oh, the Count Dooku, I mean. <laughs> Your man. 
What ails you? Like right here, I can't tell if he, yeah, I, I think Yuri's faking. Because mm. again, it's implied in, in, in I think at the beginning of Dream Drop Distance, they say it's um. Uh, he he never lost his memory. That's kind of weird, cause like. To the castle. You can count on me. I think it's implied like uh, he lost his memory because like he uh, get those for me. Attacked himself to stop Terra from like trying to fight, and then like the only thing he remembers is Sarah, uh, not like the name. Mm -hmm. But I I don't know, man. This series is just confusing. Xanor, master of a Xantos gambit. <laughs> he really is. Seems like I've been walking for ages. How long have I been down here? Uh, about, uh, how long, uh, maybe, I think the cutscenes are going on for about five minutes. <laughs> and here is the, pro and besides, besides that one cutscene with Ben, this is the proper introduction to, to the Heartless. Yep. Always gotta have a dark side here, in, in, in the <laughs> games. Just in some way. Or multiple. Oh, yeah. It's the realm of darkness, so they have a home field advantage. Oh, you don't know. You don't even know yet. Oh, gosh. Lots of dark sides. <laughs> Use Ragnarok. Seriously. Attack the head, you'll get tech points. <laughs> or you can just stand there. Maybe. She's giving up. I should fade into the yeah. darkness here. Jeez. He's doing that. He's, he's, this, he's literally just was... using the same animation, but that one punch attack. <sighs> you know that, right? Yeah. Actually, the, the the there is a there is a dark side fight in um in recoded as well. Oh yeah. But I'm not even talking about like the one like when you're doing this now segment. There's like it's like a post final boss. Mm. Sort of like um, sort of like Amino Sagiri in uh, I think his name was in um Persona Four. Isn't that isn't it that weird uh, uh, dark side that's all like code with a bunch of codes and stuff on him? Who? The the dark side of recoded. Oh yeah, it's ba yeah, it's basically the, I think it's basically the collection of all the viruses put together and all that. Which is a, yeah, which is actually pretty tough. Yeah, because it's like meant to be like the the darkness that formed when us uh, well spoilers when Sora. You know, in Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah. I don't want to mention it here, but... Money! <laughs> hey look, we're from a world. So are we. Uh, just... Hi there. I think he's basically, this is a hope that, because of everything she's been seeing, ain't, right? Yeah. Go play DuckTales Unmastered! Yeah. <laughs> play our mini-games! No! <laughs> Go underground again. Zach, don't die now. Oh, jeez. Fluffy! You can fly, you can't. Donald is not a thing we should mention. Oh, mate. <laughs> I kind of reminded. This is. Actually, this is kind of reminding me of the final boss in uh, the Persona games, where, like, everyone you max at your social links with is, like, giving you your inspiration to get back up. Mm hmm. There's always a way. And that's it. <laughs> I don't think you can skip this, actually. So, wait, we gotta be careful now, because this is licensed music. Yeah, we might have to be we, careful we, I think we will have to tackle over it. But, yeah, but technically, that's safe for birth by sleep. Yeah, this is, this is the main, this is but the ending. Yeah, but um, what's your overall thoughts on? Do you, you want to wait till because there's no credit sequence with the, when we do on the secret? Secret, okay. Well, might as well say our final thoughts on the game now. Okay, so do you, do you want me to go first or do you want to go? You can go first. Okay, well, uh, I really, I really do like the uh, changes they did to the gameplay in this game, like the whole like command deck and the different command styles because it gives you a lot of room for experimentation and figuring out new things and you know thanks to this play friend 
you, Jason. Uh, I figured out a lot more about this game than I did in the first playthrough, and I enjoyed it a lot more because on my first run, it was I still thought it was a good game, but nothing more than that because I didn't know how to do any of this other fancy the stuff. Meldings. But now that I, now that, yeah, now that I do, it's a it's been a lot more enjoyable for me, and I don't know it's been a been a fun fun ride doing this LP and. Yeah, in terms of, like, uh, storyline, like, I I do like the characters for the most part, like, Terra could be better, like, the voice, the voice acting for Terra and Aqua needs work, mm. but other than, that, other than that, I think the story is really well done in it, and it fits well as a prequel for the series, and, like, you know, what's the word? It, like, connects everything together for when one happens, you know, yeah. and all that. Yeah, it really sets the ball, it really sets what we're dealing with when it comes to Xehanort. Yeah. Because this guy, like I said, is the master of the Xanatos Gambit. Mm. Like, he's, he's way, he's way prepared for everything. Like, he's Batman or something. Yeah. And I, I do like that the, compared to two, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot more platforming and stuff to do in the world, and it doesn't just feel like, a arena like sometimes it kind of does but nowhere near as much as two um and there's again a lot of variety with the combat so yeah there's a lot to enjoy in this game and i quite enjoy playing this my turn uh or do you have anything other, do you have anything else to say the, the, well the only thing i can else i can say is that the you i really really like the music um i think i said this before but like it's the Kingdom Hearts in general is like a series where the music is better to listen to as you're playing, but there are some pretty standout tracks like the uh, was it young the Xehanort fight, um, Rage Awakened, yeah, stuff like that. And I love the battle themes overall for for all the worlds. Yeah, but that, that's pretty much my final thoughts. So what about the oh, what do, about the optional stuff? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what you mean, like what? Like kind everything, of... like because we have like all that stuff in Disney Town, including and the command boards. Okay, well, I don't. The uh, battles for the Mirage Arena, I think, are fine for the most part because it feels like the uh, Olympus Coliseum or the. Uh... Yeah, and you are getting rewarded for doing this because like you're getting this medal yeah. so you can buy more stuff. But like in terms of other things, um, the command boards the, are dull. Uh, yeah, the command board's like, I don't mind the idea of, like, having a Kingdom Hearts party mode or something, but it's just so dull. Like, there aren't any, like, fun minigames or anything. It's just going through the board, and it's not really that interesting. It's even worse than the HD remix because there's no multiplayer. Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense to me. But yeah, that's pretty much my final thoughts. Okay, my turn then. Um, well, first of all, I actually have a question. When did you first get the 2.5 HD remix? Uh, I got because I got mine so, around Christmas. Well, I can say I got I got 1.5 Christmas of 2014 maybe, and I think like a little bit after I I beat Reverse Rebirth in Chain of Memories, I bought 2.5, but I don't remember when that was. Um, as for me, okay then. Well, I got I only played. 2.5, and I got it Christmas this in last year, 2015, and it was oh. my first time playing Birth by Sleep, actually. Oh. Yeah, because it was killing me on the inside because I didn't have a PSP. Because I really want, oh, yeah, I really yeah, want yeah. to play the, all the games in the series so I can get fully on see the story for myself and experience the games. Because like I played Dream Drop Distance before I even got way before I, I played this. Oh. Huh. Yeah, but um, actually I got Dream Drop Distance on launch day. Because nice. I got it as a pre-order. But, um... Burp by Sleep, I agree with what you said on the story and the voice acting. Especially, especially... The one where it especially needs work, like we said, with Terra and Aqua. But it's Aqua especially. She just needs... She just needs more emotion. She only shows it when she's yelling. Yeah, like, when she's yelling and all that. Like, the voice... Like, the voice direction there is great. But the, it just needs to be that for the, for the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. I think her, her voice could work. It's just that she need The direction needs to just be better all yeah because like we've said this multiple times but the actual voices are this is fine 
But anyways, as I was um, going on, I do like the combat in this game too, especially with the command deck. Because I was because I played Dream Draw Distance before, I'm used to the command deck now. Uh -huh. So and, and so it felt very it, natural to me. But and mm -hmm. you ex using all the experiment and stuff, seeing how the meldings work, it really felt uh, like I could like get like a different experience just depending on like just on even if it's the luck of a draw if, if we, i mean i had to look up all the stuff that i'm showing most of the stuff i was showing for harry yeah but if any they still made the eh, sorry I, I, but regard, i regard, love this yeah i like this too i just remember i just remember about bay and Dream this and, sorry and um too oh yeah but but um yeah anyways the um, the combat is good, and, and, it, and it does have that better mix. It felt a bit more like Kingdom Hearts 1 in the sense of the balance. Just a bit. Yeah. But I still think, um, I still appreciate I like Kingdom Hearts 1's balance more. Because, like we said, like, I don't mind the combat in Kingdom Hearts 2 with the arenas and all, but, I'm just, but there's just too much of it. Yeah, I mean, like, I think the combat is the most, like, exciting, obviously... A lot of people would probably agree with this, but like, two's the most exciting overall. Like, there's it's just really fast and flashy. Yeah, and yeah, just... at least, yeah, at least the, the the design and and the game was made around the combat and, and all that. Yeah, I just wish it was like, not exactly. I don't know if toned down is the best word for it, but like, have more platforming and all that. I and yeah, I will overall, I would say this is my third favorite Kingdom Hearts game. But because while I do like everything that it, it that it did, because this because this was um like one of the more this is one of the better experimental parts of um, Namora's work because yeah. there's a reason why they used the command deck in Dream Drop Distance. But I don't know. I just like I just like the tone and the balance more in Kingdom Hearts One and the combat in Kingdom Hearts Two. While it is more excessive there than it is in the other games it's still fun and fast and frantic so you can easily ha just go go nuts with it and just watch the sword do all this flashy stuff and plus the story is is still pretty good as as a sequel yeah so i would i i do occasionally go back to this game it's just i want i would part, i would still play one and two a lot more yeah i would play one and two over yeah. this because uh Definitely easier uh, to pick up than uh, Burp I Sleep, and there, there aren't as many things to worry about. But, the less said about Chain yeah. of Memories, the better. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. um... Yeah, um, but going with the optional stuff, I really... The command the command boards could have just been overall better if they... But if they were, I probably would have... If the command decks were just a bit more interesting overall, like... Like a bit more visually pleasing, and with the music and all that stuff too, I probably would have done a, a more of them more often to get because there yeah. is a benefit to doing them, like getting Ragnarok or Meteor Shower. Yeah. But if I'm replaying the just... game, I'm only doing the Meteor Shower. And sorry, I'm only getting um, I'm only getting um, Ragnarok, and then I'm gonna try to avoid them if I can. Yeah. So and like the Rumble Racing and all that stuff, they're distractions and again at least with the benefit to all of these optional stuff is you're still getting rewarded yeah so i don't feel like i'm wasting my time even if i don't like going through it and i think that's oh, oh, oh yeah i do like the worlds too in this game too as someone forgot to mention but the thing is they could be a bit empty without the unversed yeah one well one thing i think this game tries to do a lot more than uh, the others is that like, um, when it comes to the worlds in this game, like, they still have the, like, their own story going on, but it's a lot more about, like, the three main characters compared to, like, the, uh, other yeah, games. Yeah, it's like you're not there as long, and it doesn't leave as much, yeah. it, it doesn't leave as much as an impact, to be honest. Yeah, it's like, the worlds in, more so in 1 than 2, like, in 1, they're more, the worlds are, like, their own self-contained story, when in this game, like, Every world you're going to basically just expands the general story of the actual game. Mm. I think Mickey just lost all his money. <laughs> oh, the game is over. They can't use my D-Link anymore. I think he's letting him keep the Star, keep the star Seeker. Hmm. 
Because, like, he was, like, turning in front, I think. Yeah. Mm. But... Yeah, even though I know we're not done, this it, I mean, this was a good experience, and I am glad. I one of my favorite, one of my liked is about this in particular is seeing how well you handled yourself for proud mode, and like you were like w listening to me, you, I, you were listening to me pretty well with the melds and all that, and you you sound. But I, eh, let me stop and <laughs> let me stop and, and like basically rethink rethink what I'm saying. What okay. I like, what my favorite thing about this let's play. Was seeing how was seeing you like how just watching you. Aww. You did very well for your first proud mode run in, in a Kingdom Hearts game in general. We had those, of course, we had the deaths that in here and there, but even then, yeah. those weren't too much of a. They didn't really get in the way or badly timed. I suppose. So, I'm I'm glad you're letting me come back and help you with the series, basically. Because like <laughs> this is because we're all, this is the first of many games. For the series. Oh yeah. Well, technically the first in, in terms of timeline, but Harry likes doing that timeline. I don't know if we'll be doing three five eight or Rico. Well, we will probably we probably just have to watch the movies. Maybe. At least get the chance. To, at least the excuse for us to make popcorn. <laughs> and we, and we can talk about it. And we can still talk. Make a movie commentary, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and our final result. We'll and see. here's our. Technical final results screen. Oh, after this. Wait, oh. what is this? <gasps> okay. Wait, what is this? I don't think I remember seeing this. What? What is this? <laughs> I don't remember this. I. F this might be. Uh. Wait. What? Yo. What is this? I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. Oh no! This is. Uh... Is returning hey, the, ro the rocks at, into Sora. Me? Yeah, basically. I have never seen I this. Heard your voice. It cut through the darkness around me. Huh. All alone. And this is this basically explains time. why Roxas looks like Ventus. Here with you. So Roxas, so Ventus mm. is Sora still. You gave me something back when I needed it yeah. most. I've so never, yeah, I've never like, seen this. Chance. Maybe it's because we didn't have the secret requirements, and when we finished okay. it, when I finished my game the first time. Maybe this could be because this might be a final yeah, exclusive cutscene. To sleep again. Huh. Are you sad? Would you mind if I stayed here with you? Sure, if it will make you feel better. And that's better. the start of Sora's heart becoming a, a hotel. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, duh. They probably have a party in there. <laughs> it's it's no it's the it's the original and Dreamcast commercial where everyone's just partying inside and Sonic's a DJ. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you uh. know, I think it worked. But yeah, they just did they just like channel or, or something? Cause like <laughs> they, like Rock, cause like Riku's just standing there like, okay, did it work? <laughs> I wonder what someone looks like when when they're in a deep dive or something like. Do they just zone now in real life? Like wait, that, like like. Right there. Oh no no no! Do you remember the Sonic Adventure review by Johnny? <coughs> oh yeah. It's just like oh. In time the world will be saved by these two heroes who stood beneath the same blaze stars. Oh, I think that's the heroes stars over there by the three. Huh. That's actually pretty nice. I didn't realize that before. But but um, it's like um like when when Takal's grabbed Sonic for, to, for that last bit in the final star episode. It like in Giants review, it's just like because apparently Sonic just conked out, <laughs> and it's like bloop. <laughs> the eyes are like all derpy. Conne connected hearts. Yep. And now we should be able to get it. Make a save. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Saving. Let's hope it says it. Yes! Oh, wait, uh, what? Uh, just, oh. Uh, you'll see. Oh, it's... I, it's I thought okay, we got all the journal entries. We got all the... Uh, that was weird. Oh, wait. I've... I've maybe we do actually do have to put the stickers in properly in the... In, in, in the book. Maybe. It was only for Ventus, so... We'll be right back. <laughs> 